So every time you go camping, or you go out and set up your, your campsite, you generally have to always bring some kind of camp chair, or else you're going to have to sit on the ground or some log. But if you're trying to keep your kit light, I'll carry a lot of stuff with you. Bringing a camp chair isn't always a uh, good option unless it's a small one. Then you have this small little rig dink little camp chair, you know, isn't really that comfortable. There's the um, option of, um, well, I did, a little, I did some research. So I was really trying to find a, a, a camp chair that I could go out and make or bring with me. And then uh, there's um, this one camp chair. I guess it would be the um, a hammock bushcraft chair or something that you could um, pre-make a, a piece of cloth and take out with you, make a tripod and make that, which is all right. It's, it's a nice, nice little uh, chair to sit in. But I kind of wanted something more. Turned out that I wanted something more that I could make while I'm out there. Not something I have to carry items for to make or to carry a complete chair out there. Now, of course, you know, still need some kind of cordage to make this, but generally um, a lot of people carry cordage in their, uh, with them when they go camping or in their bushcraft kit or in their little survival kit. So, you're not actually carrying, you're not carrying an extra item just, just to make a chair. But I wasn't able to really find any easy designs of making a camp chair while you're out camping. And there's there's some designs out there, but none of them really looked that um that easy to make. So I, I, I got researching around, I looked around, and I found this design right here. Of course, you know, it's not really that easy, simple, because you got cut notches in the all the ends of your um, tripod. But I started with that being my original idea, and I just simplified it. And I'm not aware of this particular design anywhere else. So I thought I'll just name it the uh, Roy Croft Camp Chair. And it's simple enough, you know, got a little tripod. Oh, by the way, I made all this with a, a little hand saw, so. And the sticks you can snap, and this, you just need a little saw. Using the saw from the um, Swiss Army knife will work on this fine. Uh, the uh, pieces I wood for my the pieces of wood I use for my tripod are are about an inch and a half, and all these right here are about finger width and smaller. They're all green. I use green wood for the uh, seat itself. I got two pieces of hickory and a, and a cherry. But anyways, all I did was um. I lash all three together, you know, with a wrap and a frap. And then I used the pink line I had with me and I um, tied the uh, three top pieces together so when you set on it, it wouldn't fall flat. I started with a clove hitch. I went over here, clove hitch, went over here, clove hitch, and ended up with a clove hitch. Really easy to put on, really easy to take off. And then all I had to do was make the seat. And uh, I start out with two pieces of bank line. One starting from here and wrapping it up, and the other one starting from here wrapping it up. But I wasn't really able to tie this off, and this moved around a little bit more than I wanted to. So I went to four pieces and tied one end, and then I, uh, I weaved it, and I tied the end, and I did two more. Same thing. And then I've got a piece I could just put on there. 
and holds it all together. I should say it holds the seat down on the um, tripod and of course this, the 550 cord right here, helps to keep it all in place. Now let me give you a close up. A very simple design, it took me about two hours. This is the first one I made and it took me about two hours so it should be done a lot faster after you've got the uh, whole idea down. I'm not going to make another one for this video. Um, I'll leave that up to someone else, but if no one does, then uh, I'll go ahead and make one. It's working on some other projects right now, so. Like I said, two hours. You got a, you know, you got your wrap and your frap. And then we got 550, of course I tie the rest up because I didn't want to cut it. Clove hitch, strung off right here, clove hitch, strung off right here, clove hitch. Back right here with another clove hitch. Then I made this, but here's the seat itself. I just did a little weave to weave it all together like you would a um, bed mat. Instead of using two pieces of baking line, I used four so I could tie this in up and make a little loop here and tie this together so I could put this on the front part to. to um, pretty much keep the seat from moving around too much and of course the um, 550 cord I use to keep the um, tripod from you know collapsing flat holds the seat in place so you got something to sit on and that's it pretty simple pretty easy took me two hours first one I made so I imagine the next one will even take me less time. Now all I needed was the um, cordage I usually have in my uh, backpack or my survival kit or bushcraft pack. Not really that comfortable sitting this way, but I'm trying to work out where you can sit, sit on it more like a chair like this. But actually, it's just fine like this. Works fine, it's steady. I'm not worried about it breaking, of course, you know. Lean on it, but it's comfortable. Little fire right here. Make it a little s'mores. 